What's up, YouTube? It's long time, not long time. Back with another Pokemon X. Actually, no, not X Y. Mega Ruby off Sapphire. Actually, no, it's the first installment for Mega Ruby off Sapphire. Why am I talking about? Anyway, <clears throat> I since I now have a Mega Ruby off Sapphire, I thought I might share with you guys one of my videos that is pre-recorded. Yay! So this was taken a while ago, and. Somehow, I managed to win this battle. Because this... That's my team. And then I was playing against some other random person in Japan or somewhere, I don't know. And considering that um, I that this person has Deoxys and Rayquaza, which is in the 70s and 80s because of the Delta episode, my team was basically sitting in the level 60s, so... Bit of a disadvantage there, but I don't know how I somehow managed to win this. But anyway, um, if you guys want me to do more videos of these, then please let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button. And also, it's nearly New Year's, so Happy New Year's. So, yep, yeah, let's get this battles, awkward, weird battle thing started. So, and you guys may also know it, I'm playing as a girl. Well, since I have Alpha Sapphire, I thought, well, might as well play as a girl, and when I get Omega Ruby, I play as a boy. So, my opponent starts off with a Rayquaza, and I go with the main net trick. Basically, since I knew I was screwed, I was trying to go for the Volt Switch, which failed miserably, because of my main net trick. So then, I went for my Low Tech, because it has the most power when it comes to Ice Types attacks, so I was trying to go for that. But then she mega evolves, and the Rayquaza's new ability, the um, Delta Stream, activates, which cuts my Ice Beam power by half. So since that happened, I was hoping for the Ice Beam freeze. So and the air. So I was hoping I go for the Ice Beam freeze. Fortunately, it didn't go as well. So. I was pretty much sitting duck. So that was the end of my Lodic. So then my next option had to go to my Metagross. My level 64 shiny Metagross, which I got from the event, which you guys can still get until the 15th of January. So this person goes to the Dragon Ascent. And fortunately, didn't do too much damage and my Metagross still lives, and defense and special defense go down, which is a big bonus for my Psychic. Which I was also hoping to have special defense lower. But anyway, I go for the Mega Evolution to Mega Metagross. And my opponent goes for the Dragon Pulse, which actually gets me into the yellow. 44 HP. Still not very effective, and I go for another Psychic, which actually does the job just the way I wanted because it was crit, and that Rayquaza is down, and I don't know if that's a nickname or not. So with the Air Cur Delta Stream over, uh, she brings out the Deoxys, which uh, Metagross is now screwed, because level 82 Deoxys beats um, Metagross in the speed race. Which is kind of unfortunate for Metagross. So, with Metagross down, I had to go for my next option Wolf, which is the Maniana. Level 63 Maniana, or because I named it Wolf, because kind of suits it. So, I go for the Sucker Punch, which, uh, which is super effective, really nice. And my opponent decides to go to the Psycho Boost, which is a pretty stupid move, considering that Wolf is a Dark type, not a Psychic type. Uh, she goes for the Hyper Beam, which I should have gone for the Sucker Punch just to finish off. Thankfully, Wolf stays a little, lives to finish Deoxys off. Really good bonus. Uh, with that out of the way, she brings out Kyogre. And then that happens. So, goes into its primal form. Not looking good at all for Wolf. And also would have been nice to have Magnetric there. Since if I did pull off the Volt Switch, then Magnetric may have been able to take out Kyogre. 
So I do the sucker punch just to do some damage, and thankfully Wolf avoided the attack, so then I can set myself up with another sucker punch. Which is also nice, and the crit. And thankfully Wolf survived another or Origin Pulse, so I go for the last sucker punch that I have, and take out the Kyogre. Really good bonus. I somehow managed to pull it with really good luck. So then my opponent decides to go out for her metal, shiny Metal Gross, which is a level under mine. Since I lost the speed race, she goes for the hammer arm and that's the end of Wolf, since I was trying to do a either a Dark Pulse or a Dig Attack, which would have worked really nice, so a bit unfortunate there. So I send out my Latias, and since I can't Mega Evolve because I did it on my Metal Gross, which is kind of unfortunate, but... I just have to deal with it, so I go for a Dragon Pulse, which doesn't work. Uh, she hammer arms me, but that also doesn't go as well. But at least she got a crit, which is actually pretty good for her. So then I decided to go for an even more Dragon Pulses, just because. Uh, Latias knows Mist Ball and Psychic, which also wouldn't do much damage, so... Uh, that was pretty much a no damage, not much damage racer, but thank... At least my Latias had Recover, which is a bonus for me so that I can recover some HP and annoy the absolute hell out of this Metal Gross and my opponent, which is even better. So, she goes try to the Hyper Beam, it doesn't work. I Dragon Pulse that Metal Gross even more. And then Metal Gross pulls off the Hyper Beam this time, um, which does quite a bit. So, I go even for more Met Dragon Pulses. Lucky for me, Metagross has to recharge because of that Hyper Beam. So, I gave do even more Dragon Pulses because Dragon Pulse. And with that Metagross just sitting on a small bit of HP, she goes for the Hammer Arm. Um, still not very effective and lowering her speed even more. So, I decided to go for another Recover to heal more HP because this chick still got. Two more Pokemon after I hit that Metagross down. So, Hammer Arm again. Not much. And this turn, I actually finished this Metagross off with Psychic. Because I just wanted to save the rest of my moves later. Let's see into Metagross. And then she decides to send out her Latias. Which is weaker than mine, so I go for the uh, Dragon Pulse. A lot of damage, really good. Fortunately, she doesn't have a Latias with Dragon Pulse, so the Dragon Breath, really nice. Even better that my Latias isn't paralyzed, so it uh, gives, gives me another chance to Dragon Pulse or Latias. Even better. That takes, the, that takes out the Latias down. And our final Pokemon, which is Septa, which I don't think was holding a Mega Stone, but uh, Sceptile Stu managed to beat Latias in the speed race, and I recover, because I'm a little wuss. Recovering! And so, he, she goes for the Rock Tomb. Uh, still alive, but um, my speed falls and crits, so I go for a Mist Ball, which does does a decent amount of damage, and she goes for even more Leaf Blades. Woo! And the end. Mm. Yep, so... So that's the end of that battle, a bit of awkward silence there, so, yeah, uh, I just had to have a quick whisper chat to someone, so, sorry about the awkward silence there. So in the end, I somehow managed to win that battle with pure dynastic luck. Um, if that Kyogre took out Wolf earlier with its origin pulses, then I probably wouldn't have had as much luck winning this battle. But even though if Lottie was taken out by that Sceptile, I still would have had my Blaziken to take it out. 
Hopefully that my blaze can be faster so that I could flare blitz it or bl brave bird it. So would have been real nice that I actually managed to win this, which was actually quite lucky of me, considering that my opponent had Deoxys and Rayquaza, which just annihilated my team. So that's the end of that battle. So if you guys want me to do even more battles, then please let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, this is a long time out.